What is going on guys? My name is Sir JB Gaming, bringing you guys another commentary video. Today you're going to be seeing a bunch of Battlefield 2042 gameplay from a stream that I had here playing with Figdo and uh, this was a point in the stream where we were kind of just grinding out for trophies and trophies are going to be the main topic of today's video. I kind of want to go over with you guys what is a trophy hunter, how do you become a trophy hunter, and, and why is this area of content creation so much better than a lot of other content creation that you see nowadays on the platform. I do consider myself a trophy hunter. And like I said, I'm going to get into that in just a second. But if you guys want to know, I do live stream almost every single day over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sir JB Gaming, where I will be playing a lot of different variety of games like Battlefield 2042 uh, and just going for trophies, having fun. So definitely come on by there. We do monthly follow goals. And if we can hit those, we end up doing giveaways. But enough of shameless self plugging. Let's get into today's video. So first and foremost, let me go ahead and explain what exactly is a trophy trophy hunter. A trophy hunter is someone who plays PlayStation games, yes, very specific to the PlayStation Nation, who plays the games solely for the objectives and uh, if you, uh, you know, go to your PlayStation home menu and you go into each game nowadays, almost every single game has a set list of trophies which are like kind of external challenges outside of the game itself and uh, they are categorized between bronze, silver, gold, and then if you were to get all trophies in a game, you get what is called the platinum trophy and that is the ultimate goal as a trophy trophy hunter is to get all the trophies and get the platinum trophy. Typically, whenever trophy hunters uh, address themselves to people, they say, you know, oh, I have X amount of platinum trophies, not have X amount of like bronze trophies or anything like that. Platinums are the big important trophies. And that's typically what I end up grinding for. And uh, I think right now, the time of the recording of this video, I'm working on my 67th platinum trophy, but probably by the time this video goes out, I will already have my 67th because I'll be working on it off stream anyways. But yeah, we basically as trophy hunters go into games and and we will read throughout this trophy list and we'll be like, okay, here is the deal. If I got to get X amount of kills this kind of way in this kind of mission, uh, then I'll go do that. Or if it's an online trophy, I'll focus on that specific thing in online trophies, such as for Battlefield 2042. A lot of these trophies can be done in custom lobbies. So you just kind of see me here messing around with a plane, trying to get a road kill with a uh, vehicle, aircraft vehicle, because I'm too bad to do it in an actual lobby. And plus, it's just a lot of fun whenever it's just you and a friend doing stupid with things but uh so yeah that's kind of what a trophy hunter is someone exclusive to playstation that because it can only be done on playstation now there are is the contrary to this where there are the achievement hunters and basically that is the xbox version of the trophy hunters achievement hunters are well known and actually there literally is a whole entire youtube channel dedicated to that and there's plenty of them but there are also a bunch of uh, youtube channels dedicated to trophies but we all know who achievement hunter is from back in the day so why is trophy hunting kind of a fun and different kind of style of, of gaming that you see on platforms nowadays and why do i think it's most entertaining because it is so diverse you know for me one day i could be playing battlefield 2042 and the next i could be on call of duty vanguard or maybe i could be hitting a throwback like i'm doing now and i'm replaying the last of us series and so it really can go anywhere and i think it's just really fun for to watch someone who can just play a handful of games in different kind of play styles and have to adapt to those play styles and remember how to do things and go for certain challenges just like in battlefield 2042 i had a lot of fun doing these types of challenges because there were so many of them to do in the first place that uh the the the, the possibilities are endless so to speak so it's a very diverse content style but it is something that you don't really see people doing a lot of typically when you think of a trophy hunter uh you see the youtube channels out there that basically guide you through trophies and how to get them those are kind of the only videos and you know content creators that get the support for trophy hunters i don't really know a lot of trophy hunter streamers over on twitch or youtube if you guys know any of them please leave them down in the comments below i'd love to check them out and potentially collab with uh, fellow trophy hunter streamers because that is kind of the content that i've been pushing more towards yes i still play main games like destiny and call of duty and you know i've already got all the trophies in those but you know outside of that i love to do these trophy hunting streams uh you guys enjoy them over on twitch and i enjoy doing them they're very different from the typical okay let's go play domination and call of duty for five hours kind of stream so uh, definitely i love these a lot more these are the more fun streams that i i have even though there are a lot of moments where I'm raging and I'm just losing my sanity over trying to do one simple challenge. It doesn't matter. I'm still having
having fun doing it. But uh, kind of moving into another point here, if you're playing PlayStation, I know a lot of people just simply play one or two games on PlayStation. They don't really care for trophies, but PlayStation themselves have actually been incorporating trophies into uh, community PlayStation challenges. I think they've done it now twice where you can win a bunch of different IRL rewards and, uh, you know, in-game rewards for certain things or console rewards, you know, backgrounds and different avatars and everything like that. And I definitely think that that should be something that uh, is, is more, is better rewarded in the future, so to speak. I, I love the community challenge and pushing people to go for platinums. And uh, a lot of you guys in my streams go for platinum. So I'm very, very glad and, uh, you know, that I've built a community around that. But I definitely want to see more people. And I, and in my opinion, you know, if you're playing PlayStation and you, you're sitting there and you're saying, you know, oh, I got nothing left to do in this game. I've done everything there is. Man, go for trophies. They really are a challenge in themselves. And yes, the platinum trophies don't do anything like achieving all the achievements on an Xbox game. You don't get score for them. But it is a nice little accolade to just show your friends. And uh, for trophy hunters, it's a nice thing to be like, oh, I have 67 platinum trophies. Like, that's crazy. I have over a total of 4,000 PlayStation trophies. So definitely, uh, it is also something to just kind of pass the time by if, if you got nothing else to do in PlayStation. So I highly recommend if you've never even tried to go for a platinum trophy, at least try to go for one, whether it be an easy game or a hard game. It definitely is an experience. And who knows, you might end up becoming a trophy hunter one day. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I, I absolutely love the trophy hunting community. I've encountered a lot of people over on Twitter throughout the trophy hunting community. And so, like I said, if you guys know any of them, YouTube or Twitch channels, please let me know down in the comments below with them. I would love to, uh, to, to watch their content and everything like that. But with that going forward, uh, that doesn't change anything on this YouTube channel regarding content. It's not like all my videos are going to be trophy hunting things, but you probably will see a lot of like gameplay like this if I'm doing commentaries or something like that. Or like I said, if you're over on the Twitch channel, you're going to see a lot of live gameplay of me unlocking trophies. Sometimes it's not the most fun thing in the world to watch, but it definitely uh, calls for good commentary and just a good time to chill, vibe, and grind, which is typically what I do on stream. So as you guys have been probably watching throughout this video right here, you guys have seen me just constantly unlocking trophies. And this is kind of what the grind is. It doesn't look as fun as it is whenever you're actually doing it, but I promise you it really is a fun thing to do. And like I said, I highly encourage you do it. So real quick before we do wrap up this video, I did feel obligated to show you guys where I'm at right now on all my trophies as of the time I'm recording this video on December 3rd. So I'm level 354 with 90% through that progress where I have a uh, 2,900 bronze on the dot, 824 silver trophies, 237 gold trophies, and 66 platinum trophies to end up with a whopping 4,027 trophies. Nothing like a lot of people that I see on social media, but hey, I'm still working on it. And these are just some of the games. I'm going to kind of casually scroll through uh, all these games here that you guys can kind of see. If you guys want to like pause the video or anything like that, or slow down the video to watch, see all the platinums and all the trophies that I have and the games that I've done them for, uh, definitely feel free to, but there's a lot of PS4 games as we'll go through here because obviously PS5 has not had a lot of games and then towards the very, very bottom is like PS3 games. But just to kind of highlight, I've uh, platinumed all of the Call of Duties, including Vanguard recently. I just finished platinuming that. Uh, a lot of these are also Lego games because those are kind of easy games. All of the Uncharted's, the remastered versions of Uncharted as well, still waiting for Uncharted 4 and Uncharted Lost Legacy remastered. So you'll kind of see those as I skim through here. But then just a couple other like miscellaneous games. And then obviously, like I said, PS3 games all the way down here. Not a lot there. I do want to go back and play a lot of these PS3 games. Who knows? Maybe I will first stream. But, uh, oh wow, we're actually at the bottom here. But yeah, that is that is it right there. Look at all that long, long list. You can you can tell we've played some games here before. But uh, anyways, I will let uh, I will let myself finish the rest of the video. That is it for today's video. A little short video talking about it. It's just something I really wanted to go and dive into because a lot of people don't understand why I do these trophy hunting streams and why I'm a trophy hunter in general and what a trophy hunter is. So I thought maybe this video could have further explain it. Uh, let me let you guys know how many platinum trophies you have, if you have any. If not, what would be the first game you would go platinum? But I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support recently. We're almost at 3.5 thousand subscribers. You guys are absolutely killing it. And like I said, if you guys want to go follow me on Twitch to see these the streams happen live, twitch.tv slash SirJBGaming. I would love to see you guys over there. But that is going to be it for me today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, you guys know me. It's been your boy, SirJB. Get at me.